I just hit my elbow pretty hard against the wall there. Attitudinally speaking. <laughs> You'd think I would actually write some words that I could pronounce, am I right? <laughs> oh boy. And with practice, oh boy. And with practice, apply to <clears throat> oh boy. Hello there. Today I'm gonna to reveal the top 10 love-based beliefs and how to acquire attractive traits. But first, if you wanna continue learning more ways to break through to your next big breakthrough with me, Jeff Teresi, please hit that subscribe button right now. So, what's the best way to connect with others? By exuding an attractive attitude. Doing that starts with attitude awareness. How attractive are you, attitudinally speaking? Does your attitude tend to attract or repel others? Alas, while farting emits an unpleasant fragrance, past gas is far less potent than the ultimate people repellent, selfishness. While everyone is selfish to a degree, being selfless is the least selfish a person can be. On the spectrum of selfishness, where do you fall? Unfortunately, because it's in our nature, people are prone to problematic proclivities such as pride, self-centeredness, and insensitivity. Without taking calculated countermeasures, we arrogantly and obnoxiously exhibit narcissism in a repulsively egotistical way. While acting out such attributes is atrocious, don't be dismayed. They can be contained as well as overcome. Having an attractive attitude requires acquiring attractive traits. Think about someone you really admire. Which of their traits are you attracted to? Are they honest, humble, hopeful, humorous, authentic, accepting? Thankfully, attractive traits can be learned, developed, and with practice, applied by anyone, anywhere. Much like the individual petals of a sweet-smelling rose, many traits tend to overlap. For example, one who is honest also tends to be trustworthy. Each trait, however, originates from a deep-seated belief. Therefore, the best way to acquire attractive traits is to adopt attractive, that is, love-based, beliefs. So without further ado, I submit to you, in no particular order, the top 10 love-based beliefs. Number one, people are worth pursuing. Remember, connections multiply merriment and divide despair. So don't wait for others to initiate. There are few better ways to show you care than by reaching out and establishing a connection. Number two, I can learn something from everyone. When you come from a place of humility and openness, you recognize that everyone has something to offer, even if what they're offering means learning what not to do. Number three, I'm not worth more than anyone else, nor is anyone else worth more than me. When you firmly believe this, Treating everyone, including yourself, with honor, dignity, and respect is a natural byproduct. No one is superior or inferior to others. Regardless of religion, race, gender, political affiliation, occupation, or financial status, you are able to see that each person's worth is intrinsically infinite and unconditionally unsurpassable. And you are then able to act accordingly. Number four, I desire to do unto others as they would want done unto them. Thoughts like this understand and acknowledge that while laughter is one of life's greatest gifts, it should never be obtained at someone else's expense. It's called the platinum rule for a reason. Number five, honesty and authenticity are always best practices. Integrity and trust can't thrive without honesty and authenticity as the foundation. Being honest empowers you to be yourself. Number six, short-term sacrifices are well worth long-term rewards. When you are able to accept delays and let go of the need for instant gratification, be prepared for a boost in resilience and persistence. Both of those traits have the potential to pay off handsomely in the future, as well as reduce stress and unrealistic expectations in the present. Number seven, I resolve to reconcile whenever possible. Be willing to admit when you're wrong and seek forgiveness. At the same time, when roles are reversed, recognize that no one is perfect. Everyone has bad days, and sometimes things are said and done in haste without thinking about the impact. So be open to reconciliation. 
If, however, the offense involves abuse, seek help immediately. Number eight, I will avoid unattractive character traits at all costs. Unattractive personality traits are not worth your time. For example, envy, entitlement, resentment, unforgiveness, gossip, pride, arrogance, and deceit are dangerous and deadly. They are pure poison personified. Don't give any one of them the time of day, except to call it out if you notice it in yourself or someone else. Number nine, each new day has something new to be grateful for. As I mentioned in a previous video, gratitude is the most attractive trait anyone can have. So appreciate what has been given, thankfully receive what is to come, and embrace each moment. And number 10, the 10th and final love-based belief is a fill in the blank. What are some other beliefs that I didn't mention that lead to attractive traits? After you've given it some thought, please share it in the comments below. I know you have tons of value to add and I'd love to hear from you. Hey, if this video added value to your life, do me a huge favor and give it a thumbs up and share it with at least 927 people that you love or like or know. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you again real soon. Let's watch some outtakes. <sighs> Lots of outtakes. This is a tough one. Am I blurry? Oh, I might be blurry. I'll say that one more time. <laughs> Let's say that one more time, 17 times fast. All right. <laughs> Number seven. Number seven. Number seven. Oh, I'm going to skip this part. That's a tough word. How attractive are you, attitudinally speaking? Don't give any of them the time of day. <clears throat> Ooh, okay. Hey, the, the battery didn't die. That's pretty good. To learn more ways to break through to your next big breakthrough, click and watch one of these videos on the screen before they disappear. And never forget, you're not alone. You are loved. And whatever you do, believe in yourself. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you again real soon.